Hey guys, we're gonna be talking about lipsticks today. I feel like I've been um, hauling and talking about a different lipstick in almost every single video I've done recently. So I just wanted to kind of do a roundup and talk about all of them and give you like just really quick mini reviews on all of them. So let's go ahead and start. Now I'm gonna swatch some of them. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna swatch all of them because we've got a lot of lipsticks here and my lips just can't take it. But I'm gonna try and swatch most of them for you. All right, so let's go in no particular order, but I'm gonna start with Tom Ford just because I see them, because I, I, I purchased a lot of these. These are the Lip Lacquer Luxes, and I did like a swatch video of these. Uh, I will definitely link it up here or down below in my description box. Since that video, my two favorite colors haven't changed. So I've been wearing Quiver, which is in the matte formula, and Knockout, which is in the vinyl formula. So there were two formulas that came out with this uh, lip lacquer luxe line, matte and vinyl. And the matte is a very soft matte, and that's how they describe it also. It does dry down. It is a little bit on the longer wearing side, but it is not completely transfer proof. It has like a nice kind of like oily base to it. So it does feel fairly nourishing to the lips when you first put them on. And as someone who doesn't like matte lipsticks, I don't like liquid lipsticks, this is actually very, very comfortable for me. So I've been really enjoying this matte formula and I feel like if I'm gonna be out and about and I just kind of want my you know makeup to stay a while at least, I will put this on. So this again is in the shade Quiver. I got a bunch of other colors, but I've just been gravitating towards Quiver. And I think this is the one that I ended up wearing in the video. And I think I even mentioned that this one was my favorite. The vinyl is uh, like a vinyl. It goes on kind of thick. It's like shiny, but it's not that high shine gloss. You know, it's vinyl. So it has that kind of like worn shine to it. And I really, really like it. So Knockout has been the color of my choice in that formula and I really like both formulas. I really really like this lip product. All right and just to you know mention the two Tom Ford lipsticks that I got this is the uh, fucking fabulous <laughs> red lipstick and this is the Lost Cherry lipstick. So the Lost Cherry lipstick is a much uh, bluer red and there's some sparkle in there and the fucking fabulous lipstick is a bit of a warmer red and it's just like a cream like normal cream lipstick there aren't any shimmers in it i really love these lipsticks the colors are beautiful the formula is really really great i also did a video dedicated to these i still very much like them i haven't changed my mind about these again i'll try and remember to link it uh, up here and i'll put it also down in the description box but i swatched both of them in that video and they're they're wonderful. They're really, really creamy. They're, you know, if you like Tom Ford cream lipsticks, you'll really like this. These aren't any different, even though they're limited edition and they come in different packaging. I have seen this one available online. Uh, I don't think that this one has been that difficult to find online. I actually haven't seen it in store. This one I feel like is still kind of slowly trickling into stores. Like each door that I've gone to, they'll say like, oh, we're getting three in tomorrow. So there aren't a lot of these floating around, but I think if you maybe have uh, a relationship with a sales associate at a Tom Ford counter, they'll probably be able to hook you up with one of these. So that's the Lost Cherry, that's the fucking fabulous. and. I love them both, I really do. I've been wearing this one a little bit more than Lost Cherry only because I like personally like a warmer red, but the Lost Cherry is, is beautiful, beautiful if you like a bluer red. I also purchased this Tom Ford uh, lip lacquer and this was part of the Soleil collection and I got Naked Elixir. It is a very comfortable, comfortable formula. I'm gonna put this on for you because it's been a really long while since I talked about this, I think. So there it is by itself. And what I find interesting about this particular color, and again, this is Naked Elixir. I was a little bit worried about this because it looks a little bit kind of peachy in the tube. And if I wear a really light peachy color, it doesn't look that good on me. But I think because this has a little bit of sheerness to it, there's a little bit of like an oily gloss to it, this actually looks okay. I think it actually looks okay on my lips. It does look better if I use a darker lip liner and kind of, you know, ombre it a little bit. Like if you don't like the concealer lip look, you may want to get one of the darker colors in this. But there aren't many shades in this particular line. I think maybe there's six altogether, and they get very, um, they get very bright very quickly. And I think that's why I decided on this one. But the formula of this is wonderful it's almost like a lip oil it's not 
quite as slippy and as oily as a lip oil, but it's super comfortable. It's like a little bit thinner than a lip oil. So I just think it's really, really easy to wear. It's very, very comfortable. I just, I really like throwing this into my purse because you know, it's, it's great when my lips are feeling dry, but since there's like a little bit of pigment, I feel like a little bit polished. So this is definitely one of those like throw in my purse ones. So I've really been enjoying this, but I do find the color range for this line to be a little, a little limiting. And speaking of lip oils, so I purchased these um, Hourglass, uh, what are these called? I think just lip oils. I think they're like the, the 28 lip oil serum from Hourglass. They only had this in a clear oil. It was just a lip treatment and they recently just came out with tinted ones. So I purchased Icon and Cameo. So Icon is like their red icon and cameo is more like a neutrally uh, like rosy pink these are another wonderful wonderful product if you want something very similar to the tom ford uh lip lacquer soleil's like same idea they're uh, very nourishing they're very low maintenance you can put them on you know, without a mirror, you can put them on, maybe not the red one. You could definitely put Cameo on uh, without a mirror. You don't need a lip liner. They're really just a lip treatment, but because they have a tint, they give you a little bit more polish. Like if you need just a little bit more for your look, you don't want just completely bare lips. These are great. And uh, I haven't talked about these in a while either. So let me take this off and I will swatch those just so you can get a sense of how much pigment is in them. But here is the packaging and it's got this little uh, press down applicator which is really cool. So I'm going to start with Cameo and just one depression gives me enough product. That's how much squirts out. So there is Cameo. I don't think there's any additional fragrance, but there is a scent to these lip products. I think it's the, the 20 essential oils that this is composed of. I think just has uh, like a nice kind of natural spa-like kind of uh, scent. They're really nice. They're really, really nice. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of lip oils. There's like a few that I like. I'll actually mention another one that I really like. They have to be, I don't know, like not so oily. They have to be oils that are not so oily. I don't know if that makes sense, but I really don't, I don't know. I don't want to feel like I have like butter all over my lips. And this is just a really nice lip oil. This is a little bit thicker than the Tom Ford Soleil. So it sits on your lips for a little bit. Very, very conditioning. I just think this product is, of course I think of the winter time when I think of this product, but this is gonna be great in Vegas because it's just so darn dry here. And while this doesn't completely sink in that quickly, I also don't feel like I just have like, like, ugh, like crap sitting on my lips. So I really like this product. It's just very beautiful. It feels so good on the lip. You really feel like your lips are getting like a boost of hydration, vitamins. Like it just feels really, really amazing. So this is the color Cameo, which you can see is kind of like a My Lips But Better but I'm gonna take this off and put on Icon, which is the red color. And that one's a little bit less low maintenance because of the red. I do feel like I need to do like a mirror check after I put on this Icon color. So I have a little bit left over. And I love this uh, metal tip. It feels really cool when you put on the product, which is always like relieving. So there is Icon, and it just gives my lips like a hint of color. If I'm feeling really kind of pale, this is the one that I definitely like to throw on. So those are the Hourglass uh, lip oils. I think the full name is like 20, number 28 lip oil, something. Anyway, they don't have any other lip oils. These are the ones, and six colors in total, and I have Cameo and Icon. And of course, the original iteration of these is clear with no pigment, if that is more your thing. But this lip oil is just phenomenal. All right, so speaking of lip oils, I wanted to talk about this Rodin lip oil. I can't remember if I mentioned this in a favorites now. I think maybe I did because I brought this to Mexico with me. Sorry, my heat just kicked in. I brought this to Mexico with me and wore it every day. You know, woke up, this is just what I put on my lips. It was really sunny there. My lips got a little bit sunburned, so they were feeling a little bit tender. And I just 
threw this on and that was it. This was, I brought a few other things, but this was the only thing that I pretty much wore the entire time, yeah. So this Rodan lip oil is in collaboration with Vanessa Trena and this is in the color, I think there's three of them all together, I'm not sure, but this is Granatum. And this is a wonderful red color. It actually ends up looking much like this um, icon color on the lips, but let me just take this off so you can get a sense of this shade. Uh, I think these are limited edition but I think they're still available. And the Icon shade in Hourglass is a little bit more of a bluish red, and this is a little bit more of a warmer red, but because they're both oils and they're so sheer, you almost can't tell the difference on the lips. All right, so that's the Rodin Lip Oil on my lips. The texture is a little bit thinner than the Hourglass. The Hourglass ones are like a pretty dense oil, but it's a little bit thicker than the Tom Ford. So it's like right in between the Tom Ford and the Hourglass in terms of texture. And again, this is another oil that isn't too oily. It just feels very moisturizing on the lips. And I really like that. I don't like, I think I've said this a gazillion times at this point, I don't like oils that are too oily. And then while we're on the subject of Rodin and Vanessa Trena, I also purchased and hauled this, but I don't think I've talked about this particular lipstick, but this is their luxury lipstick and I got it in Peonia. And I was just wearing this the other day it's really a lovely, uh, lightweight, very, very moisturizing, very creamy kind of lipstick, really comfortable on the lips. I really like this color. It's like a sheer, I don't know, it's a little bit more than a tinted balm, but it's definitely a sheer lipstick. So it goes on just really easily. Again, another one that's just great to throw into your purse. My only issue with this lipstick is because it is so creamy and so soft. I only had the bullet up this much and I went to apply it and it's like I pressed down and the whole bullet just sort of like, I don't know if you can see it, it just sort of tilted back and it ran into the actual case, uh, the actual plastic component. So it's so soft, it's like you have to be careful. And it's not like I ordered this in the summer and it's not like it was particularly warm when I did that to the bullet. So I think these are just an incredibly soft formula. That's what makes them something that I really like, um, which is unfortunate, but you just have to be careful to not press it down on your lips too hard. And I don't feel like I was that aggressive with it, but now it's like every time I lift it and lower it, it kind of like, scrapes the side, which is, well, it's not really making a terrible mess. But anyway, it, it was a little bit concerning. And I, you know, since then I've had to be a little bit careful with it, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this lip oil and put on that lipstick. This lipstick, the formula and the color reminds me of one of the NARS Erdem lipsticks that I got. The lipsticks in that collaboration with NARS uh, were kind of sheer on the sheer side and there's one color it's probably even a little bit cooler than this one less pink so that is the Rodin Vanessa Trena lipstick I also recently reviewed Kosas I reviewed their tinted oil which didn't really work out for me I reviewed their powder um, blush and highlighter which I love and I also purchased their uh, lipstick what is this called I feel like it was a deceptive name for me I think it's like the weightless lipstick, something like that. I have it in the color Undone, and I'm just not the biggest fan of this particular lipstick, of this formula. I think if you don't have very dry, sensitive lips like I do, you'd probably really love this lipstick because it does go on smoothly. It is very creamy, but it's definitely on the thicker side, and it just it dried down to a point where I felt like my lips were feeling really, really dry, but it does make this creamy lipstick a little bit longer lasting. So if you don't have excruciatingly dry lips and you prefer lipsticks that stay on longer, I mean, who doesn't, then you probably really like this, but this is not for me. And when I tell people I have sensitive lips, I should probably mention that um, you guys probably know I suffer from eczema, but when I got eczema in high school, it appeared on my upper lip really, really badly. I had, it was awful. It was very weepy. And that is what has made my upper lip very sensitive. So it's like when I wear certain lip products, 
I can feel my skin kind of react to it. And it won't bring out the eczema necessarily, but my skin will start to feel kind of thick. And that's what happens, unfortunately, with this lipstick and any lip product or any food even that kind of just slowly starts to like leach the moisture from my, my skin. I will start to get like a completely like strange texture on my lips. So I started to feel that with the Kosas lipstick. So unfortunately, this lipstick is not for me. I also just talked about Chantecai and the Polar Ice Collection. So there were um, lip crystals included in this small Polar Ice Collection from Chantecai. And I have one color, Citrine. There's three colors all together. And this is the lipstick that looks like it's been rolled around in micro glitter. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this lipstick looks on. Actually, I'm gonna take off this Rodin lipstick and swatch that for you. But I hold true to the statement that I made in that Polar Ice Collection video. And again, I'll try and remember to link it right up here. But I feel like I can feel a little bit of the grit in the lipstick. I don't think it's actually in the lipstick. I think it could be the treatment along the outside. Like if I get any of that on my lips, I feel like that's what I am feeling. I also find it a little bit difficult to remove all the glitter at the end of the day, but I'm gonna say that I think it's worth it <laughs> with this lipstick. I just think they're so beautiful. So there is the lip crystal. I just think they're so much fun. And I love the fact that they're obvious <laughs> they're very obvious that there is this very obvious frosty finish that you can see little micro glitters in there but it's not like a thick dense color you know it's still a really easy to wear kind of lip color and i just love it i absolutely love these and i think it's worth every extra minute i have to take at the end of the day to remove it actually let me go ahead and try and remove it now and you'll see what i have left over so that's what the lipstick looks like And I don't know if you guys <laughs> feel like I'm like trying to kiss you guys, but there's like little glitters in my lips. There's even, there's one that got up here, but I'm gonna try again. There's more glitter here. It's just a little bit tough to get it all off. And when I'm washing my face at night, I don't necessarily take my lipstick off like by itself. I'll, you know, have a balm or something and I'll just run it over my lips and I ended up with glitter kind of all over. So when I wear this lipstick, I make sure to kind of remove just my lipstick so I don't end up spreading the glitter, the micro glitter everywhere. But like I said, I think it is fully worth it. These are so, so pretty. I just love them. They're really a lot of fun. And I don't even know if I need to mention these, but the Pat McGrath uh, Lust Lip Glosses, she came out with 13, 14 new colors. I love them all. I am definitely, definitely gonna be getting more from this second release of colors. I'm basically just waiting for her site to have a sale because she seems to have, you know, 10, 15, 20, I think sometimes even 25% off her site every once in a while. So I'm just waiting for that because I have plenty of lip gloss to carry me through. So I'm gonna wait for a sale, but I'm probably gonna get a few more of her three packs. I also mentioned these Keir Weiss uh, lip tints. And these come in their awesome like refillable packaging and these pans kind of pop out. So I talked all about this when I hauled it. I think when I came back from New York City because I used this a lot while I was in New York because this was like really easy to throw into my bag. And this is just a really beautiful color. I can't remember what I got. Captivate is the name of the color. So it's like this nude bronzy color. And then there's these really cool like metallic goldy kind of bits in there. It's a wonderful uh, like lip balm. I love the little bit of color that it gives me. The only thing that, I don't know, is it's not even that strange, but that I noticed is that in this pan of the lip gloss, it just feels like a little clumpy or bumpy in there. I guess maybe some ingredients in this lip tint are a little bit more dense than others. I thought maybe it had gotten too cold and it hardened, but now that it's like softened up, it's still that way, but it doesn't really affect, I don't think it affects the formula in any way. It goes on nicely. It's very, very smooth. It's very nourishing also. So I've been enjoying this. I haven't been using this that much since I got back from New York, but this was pretty handy in New York when I wanted like a little bit of something 
but I definitely needed my lips nourished because it was cold when I was there. And then just a couple days ago, I had reviewed the new Killian lipstick and the new Bond Number no. 9 lipsticks. And my thoughts haven't changed from that video either. The Bond Number no. 9 lipstick definitely stays on for me. It really, I don't know, I feel like it just kind of like, like it suctions onto your lips. There's like a little bit of a thicker, kind of tackier formula. The Killian one that I have um, in the satin finish, my experience hasn't changed. If I don't wear a lip liner with it, it will definitely start to bleed just a little bit uh, down in my lips. A lip liner definitely takes care of it. So I have been enjoying it. The scent is still there, still smells like toasted marshmallows, and the Bond Number no. 9 does not have any fragrance whatsoever, which is very interesting. But in case you missed that video, here is the Bond Number no. 9 packaging. It is like so extra. Here is their Subway Token logo, and here is the lipstick. So I have it in the color Park Avenue, and it's just lovely, it's lovely. They just have a collection of nine red colored lipsticks. Uh, Killian has a collection of 12 lipsticks, six different colors, two different finishes for each color. And as far as I understand it, both of these lipstick lines are gonna be launching nude colors soon. I'm guessing April, which is usually when the spring summer uh, makeup comes out. Hey guys, so I was just editing this video and I was about to go wash my face and it dawned on me that I hadn't talked about some of my favorite recently purchased lipsticks because they were in my purse. So these are the Clé de Peau Refined Lip Luminizers. And I got two colors. One is Old Rose, which is uh, number one, and it's a little bit more nude. And then the other color I got is number six, Rose Draggy, which I think is how you pronounce it. I just looked it up, but that just doesn't even sound right. So these were an existing lip product in the Clé de Peau line, but they reformulated it and they kind of repackaged it a little bit. And now they're called the Refined Lip Luminizer instead of just Lip Luminizer. So I actually had two of the previous version. This is what the case used to look like. So tall and thin, just a teensy bit shorter than the new one, but these old ones were refillable. So this was a cartridge that kind of came out and then you could like swap out your colors or uh, you wouldn't have to get the whole case anymore. These are not refillable anymore, uh, but I like the actual packaging of these more. It has this really pretty like lucite bottom with a color swatch in there. There's a nice gold plate at the top with the Clé de Peau logo. And so if I purchase more than one color when there's like a refill, situation, I end up getting like one full one and then just the refill of the other one and I think, oh, I'm just gonna swap them out or whatever. I never do that. And then that one color refill always like languishes in my collection and I end up just using this one color. I actually don't even know where that other refill is. So I think these are a good idea, but I actually prefer these more. And I like this newer formula more than the older one for much of the same reasons why I like the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash over the Rouge Coco Shine. These are just smoother. The pigment is more even and it's less, um, it's less of like a loose formula. It's a little bit, it's not thick at all, but it's just a little bit thicker than the old formula, which is what I think makes it a little bit smoother and makes the pigment a little bit more even. And with that said, I also realized I didn't talk about the new Chanel Rouge Coco Flashes, but I just talked about them and I'm actually going to be posting another Chanel video next week because I purchased some of the new things and I'll talk about uh, those lipsticks again in that video. So that's it. We're gonna get back to my previously recorded portion of this video. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this roundup of lipsticks that I have kind of been talking about here and there and hauling here and there. I hope you enjoyed this kind of one video to just sit down and talk lipsticks. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please leave any questions down below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you in my next video.